Good morning. Thank you so much for making time to join us on Simply Showbiz right here on TV3. It's an honor to be with you anywhere you're watching us from. I'm very, very glad that we are able to bring you another episode of Simply Showbiz. Now, the dust has finally settled. All the chaos is over. We know that the 21st edition of the Ghana Music Awards finally came off at the Grand Arena of the Accra International Conference Center. I'm sure you're familiar by now with who won what, who is saying what, and who is disappointed. Share with us your surprises, your disappointments as we are streaming live on our Facebook platform. It's TV3 Ghana. You can join us with your comments and we definitely will read them right here on Simply Show. But remember that it's nothing personal. So my name is Miss G. And uh, let me quickly get this off my deck. So on the 15th of August, um, it was a Saturday, just a Saturday like this on the show. During a conversation, I read some social media claims that had referenced Stoneboy's family. Now, subsequently, the artist reached out to me and said these claims were untrue and he wasn't happy with the claims. As a professional journalist, and of course, one that didn't have any malice at the time I was referencing or referencing social media, the Monday afterwards, I apologized on TV3 New Day during my segment on entertainment. You want to have a look at it? I'm having a good time this morning, but I quickly want to do this. So on Saturday, on Simply Showbiz, I made reference to claims on social media concerning Stone Boy and his family. Subsequently, the artist reached out to me and said he wasn't impressed by the inference from social media and those claims weren't true. And so, uh, on behalf of myself and my team on Simply Showbiz, we want to render an unqualified apology to Stone Boy uh, for the inference from social media and also to say that we regret any harm those comments from social media might have caused to his brand and family. But even though this was done weeks ago, it didn't deter some blogs, reputable blogs for that matter, from misconstruing what had said or reference from social media. During the show, we went along to put funny headlines. Of course, I called some of them out on social media. If you called me or if, if you follow me, you see that I called some of them out. But let's move on with life. So once again, I would like to say to Stoneboy and his family that I retract unreservedly what comments that I had read on social media uh, had caused him any harm that it had caused him. Please, we regret it. And the unfortunate situation is deeply, deeply, deeply regretted. We can now move on with our lives. Thank you very much. And uh, any discomfort caused him and his family is deeply once again regretted. So we are back on Simply Showbiz. I've been waiting for two of my guests, buying time, but unfortunately they are not here. But most importantly, my colleague in the media, uh, Kwame Dazi, who works with CTFM and CTTV, is seated. He has been ranting. He calls it Kwame Dazi's rant on social media concerning the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. He's actually tabled five concerns, and I have them. I will try to delve into them one after the other as we wait for Celestine Donko, who is a female vocalist of the year, and of course, MOG Music, who is a male vocalist of the year, to join us. And of course, Celestine also picked up song of the gospel song of the year during the awards. So share with us your reservations, your disappointment. I know the artist of the year is top on everybody's lips. And even Kwame Dazi had issues with it. He kept ranting. I was like, hey, how much are they paying you to rant? Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Miss G. You look amazing. Thank you very much. And very and soon, I, I should have my hair like yours. Um... Are you sure you want to be? Like I, I want to do that. How does it feel to be? Is this Rasta or? It's not Rasta. It's what? It's Kwame Dazi. Oh, okay. And then it's your brand. I can't steal. <laughs> I can't steal that brand. But you went to her to raise five concerns. Yeah. Uh, let me remember. Album of the year. Your concerns mm -hmm. was with her album of the year. First yeah. of, you had a concern with artists of the year. Yes. Yes. And then yes. you did five runs of Kwame uh, Kwame Dazi. Yeah. I almost said Kwame Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, Kwame. It's Kwame Dazi. <laughs> so you had concerns with album of the year. Uh -huh. You called that EPs should be included in consideration. Uh, uh, category definition. Yes. And yeah. you also called that the male vocalist and the female vocalist should be just one. Yes. And it should be vocalist. Renamed. Rename. Uh, um, to vocal performance of the year. Of the year. Because you don't yeah. believe that one song is enough. Enough. And to, then you're yeah. also advocating that they make a music journalist of the of year course. part of the category. Of it's like that one is going to come to you, hands down, huh? Oh, no, there are a lot of them. Oh, there. We have Hanson Myers. Uh -huh. David Marley is there. 
We have we have a number of them who have been doing music journalism or putting the spotlight on music, like Kobiche, for example, mm. does so much with with music. He does music reviews and analysis and all that. So it's not me alone. Okay, we we'll yeah. see. And then finally, there's a last one that I tr I'm trying to remember now. And uh, rap the rapper of the year of the as well. Yeah, you said they should be a rapper of the year based on the performance, performance, not yes. on uh, based on one ba song. Based on number of songs you've done. Okay, if not, they, they need to redefine that as well. Okay, so let's take it one it. after the other. Okay. Why were you disappointed that Kwame Eugene picked up the Artist of the Year instead of Sarkodie, as you were touting should be? I wasn't disappointed. I was surprised. Mm. <laughs> I'm, trying because to, I'm, I'm trying to look at the difference now. <laughs> because <laughs> I was surprised because I was taking into consideration the work that Sarkodie did in 2019, and that is the year under review. Any other thing that happened outside the year 2019 could be a factor that contributed to anybody winning, but shouldn't have been a factor because um, if you set out a category definition and a duration, if you like, year under review from 1st January 2019 to 31st December 2019, it means we are assessing the performance of these artists based on what they did in that year. In the whole year, in 2019, Kwame Eugene released two songs. He says two hit tracks. Okay, two hit tracks. And one was bigger than the other. Mm. Obviously, Ubiatu. Hey, Ubiatu, no Ubiatu. Ubiatu, <laughs> Ubiatu was bigger than Ohima. Than Ohima. Mm. Great. Sakodia released one EP, the Alpha EP. Mm -hmm. He released Black Love Album, which has about five hit songs. In total, Sakodia has about seven hit songs in 2019 alone. And you can mention them, Ufecho, Sarah, Lucky, you can mention um, Bleeding, you can mention uh, Anaju, uh, well, the one he did with Kim Promise. So, so he, he had a lot of his songs. Even Lucky had 7.7 .7 million views on YouTube. But that took the best collaboration of the year. It took the best collaboration. I'm just trying to put all these metrics together to tell you that in the year under review, um, we all know you need just a single hit song or an album to enter into the award scene, mm, mm. to enter into that category as uh, artist of the year. Mm -hmm. But once you have all these people, at least getting that basic requirement to enter, it's a competition. So other factors come to play. And, and the these, other factors... And these are the factors I'm talking about. Sarkodie, mm -hmm. for example, in 2019, he won the BET uh, Best International People. Flow mm -hmm. of the Year. He won that... And the statement that he made on that platform that got everybody talking, got the whole world fixated on Ghana, Ghana, that this is the year of return. Everybody should come visit Ghana. And at that moment, Sarkodie was like the ambassador for the country to the extent that he was even honored as year of return ambassador by the Ministry of Tourism. Mm. So 2019, looking at assessing the performance of artists, again, Sarkodie did his own shows rapaholic was there the one he did at tema and then also performed at a number of other shows i'm not saying by this saying that all the other nominees didn't do anything kwame eugene once you are nominated you can win but i had expected sakwadiya to win based on all these factors that i've, I've mentioned and uh, i wouldn't blame anybody so much but i can presume mm. and my presumption is based on the fact that um, for most times, or for all this while, we've, we've heard some people say that, okay, uh, all these top or mainstream big acts, they've won this highest award for, for so long. So let's try to give it to the, the underdogs. To the, you believe in that theory? Awards. I don't know. I don't know what the board thinks. Mm. Because if you raise this But what issue about the of concern about visibility and the fact that uh, Eugene headlined almost every huge show that you talk about or you could mention under the year that has been reviewed? What about that? You don't think... Because but it's part of It's the, part of the popularity. The, yeah. but, but that is just one of it. But I mm. mentioned a couple of other but things. But you know that you well. also said, you agree that they said you have to have a hit song or album. Yes, so and, once, and once... Okay, so if I have one hit song uh -huh. okay and somebody has five hit, hit songs. songs on the album okay. who do you think whose song do you think will be listened the most by, you, the, you, by, you, by the people okay i get your argument but you don't think that anything uh, apart from the album and the hit song uh, might have been a more uh, considerable basis for which but I, I i mentioned the prominent sack what you had by that bt experience mm -hmm. i mentioned rapaholic i mentioned the tema show 
And these are not the only shows that he performed at. He performed at other shows as well. So these are all parts of the factors. But I believe that, you know, um, most times when you raise concerns like this, the board will come and tell you that, did you vote? But 60... 40. Did you vote? Did you vote? <laughs> yes, you voted. As an academy member, you would mm -hmm. vote. And they usually ask the public this question. But my concern about that is that the board should rather ask the question, who did we, the board, vote for? <clears throat> because they also vote. So that's why you so guys why, are why they that they show it, us what the board... Make it seem like it's only the general public and the academy that votes. But the board also votes. And their vote is very critical. You know why? Unlike the academy where we are scattered across the country, we can't have one meeting and say, let's vote for Kwame Eugene. Mm. Unlike the public, which is scattered, and we can't say, let's decide to vote for Kwame Eugene. The board take decisions. And that is why they were even able to say Wale and Stoneboy should, should be banned from the award scheme for some time. So they can't actually go for a meeting and say, okay, this time around, let's all come into an agreement and say that. We are giving the award to Kwame Eugene. This is my assumption. They can do that. If they can take decisions as a board, why can't they decide to vote for one person? And they are not as many as the academy or the general public. They go for meetings. They mm. see each other. So they can say, oh, this year, shall let all of us vote for Kwame Eugene. And it can happen. So that even if Sarkodie had a lot of votes... So you are speculating that that could have been... The, and my, skip, uh, yeah, skip. <laughs> my speculation, <laughs> I pick this at 70%. Wow. Yes. Wow. And maybe, maybe, maybe they should give us a breakdown of the voting patterns. Of the Academy, board. general public, board, and let's see who the board voted for in the artist of the year. You'll be shocked. Anyway, that's some huge, you know, speculation. 70% sure. Uh, let's see if uh, the board will yield or the organizers will yield to his call. But I also want to introduce to you a royal. Uh, MOG Music is now in with us. Congratulations to you, male vocalist of the year. It must feel really good. I see, but I, I was also thinking that you're, you're anticipating that you pick the new artist of the year as well. Yeah, I was, but to be honest, I thought that Famiya deserved it because, I mean, comparing what I did um, last year to what he did, he did a lot of work and I was, even though I was there and I wanted to win it, I, w I was also happy he won it because he really worked for it. But for him, I think you were the second in line also. Yeah. I think yeah. Was, but you, 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 you come across as a very brave man, and the reason I'm saying this is because of GD with Raskuku. <laughs> you went where everybody who, you know, like Christendom, like, you yes. know how the holier-than-thou attitude is with us and this is where people, you are running to the lion's den. You say, I'm going to sleep there. Tell me about it. Well, um, so I, I I didn't know Rasku from anywhere. Wow. I met him at the awards. You know. Oh, so the song was just recorded after the awards? Yeah. That's quick. Yeah, um, mm. I met him at the awards, and um, after I congratulated him for winning the award, and then he was like, yo, I have this song, and I want you to do it. I was like, uh... <laughs> I said, no, you send it to me, let me listen to it. So he sent it to me, and I listened to it, and the lyrics made a lot of sense to me. So I was like, no, let me just jump on it. And for me, I don't really pay attention to criticisms as long as I know the basis on which I did what I did, you know. Um, people refuse to get the background story before they pass judgment. If you get the background story, you can have a fair idea of what the person decided to do, what he or she did, then you can pass a judgment, you know. But if people go out there and start bashing MOG, you're a gospel artist, you're a pastor, you should know better. And that. We are supposed to even take the gospel to these guys, if, if we are being for if you are being real, you know. We have to take the gospel to them. How can you win them? I'm identified with them. Um, if the ghetto young youth hears that there's a guy called Emoji who did a song with Rasuku, he might probably go on the internet to look for other songs that I've done and probably he'll be blessed by those ministrations hmm. and decide to give his life to Jesus Christ. Who knows? Did you have to seek permission from the Apostle General? Um, this one, there, I, I, did it behind, <laughs> I did it behind my team. So they, they, they were just there. They saw that I was like, ah, what? Happened. You know, I was like, no, I just, I just wanted to do it. I see. Congratulations to you. It's beautiful. I, I listened to it and I, I, a lot of times you said, get a youth rise. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> but he talks about your voice. I'm sure that he's also impressed with your voice because exactly. in an interview you granted my colleague here, uh, Usuara, he talked about your vocal prowess and how he was impressed uh, by what uh, you had done over the period. Yeah. Uh, like you said, um, there are people who also say, ah, na emoji no bada bang, na emoji no <laughs> Voice, it's a singer or the winning male vocalist of the year. I'm sure you've read comments like that and you've yeah. seen comments like that. How, how do you take those ones? 
Well, um, as I said, I mean, criticisms come to me um, on a lighter note. I don't really take it um, to heart, you know, because um, you don't, people don't know the journey you've been through, um, what the process you've been through behind the scenes before giving the opportunity to, to be in the limelight. Um, when preparation meets opportunity, there's an explosion. So I'll be preparing behind the scenes. Probably nobody saw me. And I was given the opportunity at the VGMAs. And here we are. Your first opportunity. First opportunity. Hey, Charlie, you're on Hulu. <laughs> <laughs> but see, this man here has been advocating. And first of let me ask him what he makes of uh, your award. Did you, did you, you, see, were, you me, were you, were you convinced that? Me, I don't lie. Eh, please me, tell the truth. Me, I didn't vote for him, would you? <laughs> You voted for the names that you're used to. But not because I didn't know his vocal prowess. MOG is a fantastic singer. But I voted for Kiddy. Mm. But I wasn't surprised. Are you allowed to say who you voted for? Oh, no, me. I don't care. I don't care okay. about that. MOG, I wasn't surprised he won. Because if you, if you critically listen to MOG, forget about the hoarseness of the voice. Vocal ability has nothing to do with whether the voice is smooth, whether it is husky or not. It is about your note precision, your breath control, the dynamics in there, and how you interpret the emotions through the lyrical content and all that. So if you, if you have watched M.O.G. perform any song, not a song that has uh, 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 effects on it, live performance, he has it. And so those who are saying, oh, can promise this, this person that, they didn't know what they were saying. And so even in my article, mm -hmm. I, know, I, I wrote in there, that henceforth, if they want to nominate people for, uh, for vocal, vocal performance, they should use live performances to judge. I want you to hold it because Celestine also won the other side Fantastic. of that category. Fantastic. And I want us to just pick some visuals from uh, the uh, Music Awards as Celestine joins us uh, for a conversation. She just, uh, you can also be part of the conversation. We're live on Facebook. Uh, and then you can also tell us what you make of the conversation and, of course, of what happened on the day of the award. So let's watch this and then we are back. And that was the performance of the night uh, of the Ghana Music Awards. She performed on the second day. MOG was the opening act for the first day of the awards. Beautiful surprise for a lot of people. Say, hey, gospel for Naji Awards. No, you know, that's what I heard when I was in the auditorium. But let's start off because we, uh, Kwame was already speaking about the issue. So let's just let him continue. Then we we'll ask uh, Celestine how she feels about, you know, picking the award for the yeah. first time. That was the first time she picked the award at the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards Beautiful. before she picked the next one on the next day so yeah. let's hear you continue with yes yeah, so female vocal performance i wasn't surprised um, if you read my predictions mm. ahead of the of the vodafone uh, music, music awards, awards i i stated clearly that 
Celestine Donko would win the female vocal performance. <laughs> yes. These, these are just predictions. Mm. I'm just one person out of many people who were voting or who, yeah. who had a say in who should win what. So it was just my opinion. And uh, I wasn't surprised that she won. And you see, anytime a gospel artist performs at the VGMEs, their performances are so unique. Mm. From MOG to Celestine, to to any, anybody I've seen from the gospel side perform at the VGMEs, everything is I super. heard people say they are the real vocals. They are. Mm. And that was what I was talking about, that to, to judge who is the best vocalist, we should not just use the record that has been produced, because most of them, they have effects on their voices. If you want to know if somebody is a I real I saw you beginning up Kim Promise that for once, he, he didn't disappoint you. You know, for most of the performances I've watched from King Promise in the past, he flattered his notes. He went off key. Same thing with Famille, okay? Anytime he mounts the stage to perform something, do something live, to a live band or anything, he, go, he veers off from the key a bit. But the gospel musicians, they will never go off. You see that thing? So... I was saying that, yet I heard some people say, oh, King Promise has a very good voice, should have won. And I say, wait, I have watched his live performances. And most times, especially when he is happy and he is trying to do some body movement, he goes off the key by, let's say, by a semitone or something like, or flat kakra. But on the night, I was surprised because at least the, 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 the beginning of his performance was so smooth, it was so good. Except for the fact that even the, the ones that he did with uh, Daku vibe. Daku vibes, there were some loops under. So, but still, it was a very good performance. Mm. You know? So I am saying that the vocal performance, let the board take into consideration live performances as well. So that apart from the fact that you are using one song to judge that, also take into consideration shows they performed outside the studio or during their performances, their shows, to know how best they can sing. So that is it. And then I was quite surprised. Maybe they want to just uh, empower both male and female. But it's always been the case. It's always been. But you know what? Technically speaking, if you are a good singer, it doesn't matter whether you are a male or you are a female. The females will also come in. Look at the way Eno has been advocating then we, for then we should, female rapper. Then we should have rapper. female Vodafo Ghana Music Awards because everything should have its female side of it. You know Creamy? Creamy's mm -hmm. vocal register could pass for a female artist, okay? So if you are telling me that somebody will say, oh, because the, the, the females have different vocal range from the males, that is why they separate them. But if you take Creamy and you take Emoji, they have different vocal registers, vocal ranges. But they will be nominated so in the male to vocal performance. So are you trying to be unfair to put them together? So to that is why one I'm saying that the argument that the reason they split it male and female is that males have different vocal ranges Range. It doesn't hold because there are some, some males who can pitch very high. There are some males or females who have very low registers as well. Put Creamy here and put Becca here. And let, let's see who can pitch higher. <laughs> <laughs> so, so to me, that category should be one. Vocal performance of the year. Per what you have performed on stages, on your shows, everywhere. Take it into consideration maybe one performance you did from uh, your records then we use other performances from live shoes to add to that other than that we may get some people who just enter into the studio and put some effect on their voices winning that category hmm. so, celestine congratulations yes. to you people Thank say you're you. breaking the jeans you know we've had we've <laughs> been used to setting names you know in that winning that category yeah and nobody saw this and well a lot of people didn't see it coming kwami oh, saw it coming myself i didn't see it coming. you didn't see it coming yeah, i didn't see it coming why didn't you see it coming and not because i saw myself as not deserving it but i'm just used to the uh, previous winners like it has always been them you know i have always been nominated for the female vocalist of the year for more than five times wow. and all my songs supernatural got it many mungwase got it or kron kron got it and so i have always been nominated for but i guess this is just my time you, you think yeah. that Bubulu did something that all the previous ones didn't do no i i wouldn't say that of course i have matured when i listen to myself uh, now compared to my previous singing I have matured because in everything the more you do it the more you grow so um, I have matured but I wouldn't say that when I listen to Kron Kron vocals 
that, that's some serious vocals. If you, you should listen to it again. Mm. But uh, like I said, everybody nominated for a category deserves to win. Has something to prove that they deserve to be there. That's why they put them there. But at the end of the day, one person will pick it. So well, I, I got a message very the very time that I think I was sending that by some industry folks. And when you walk there, maybe like you said, you didn't think that you were going to win. People said you were not properly dressed to receive at that all. Award. At all, I I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, knowing me myself, I mean, if I knew I would pick an award, I would have like prepared, you mm -hmm. know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I took it so cool. I was in. I didn't want to stress myself. I wanted to be in a, in a very relaxed dress, so I just took a white kaftan. And as long as my husband said I look good, <laughs> well, I knew that if I if I had an, a hint. Uh, being my first time picking a word and being Charlie and come in, make one heavy. You know. <laughs> but but it's all good. Mm. You know, sometimes things you don't expect, you know, are things that come your way and it's just and before I move to MOG, another thing that also was said because where else is it? We had a lot of industry folks and mm. of course we we're on platforms where conversations were going mm. on. And one of the things that they said is that you picked up the award on Friday. Mm. On Saturday, it felt to them when you were performing as if Charlie, let me prove to the people that <laughs> I have what it takes to win female vocalists. And see, yes, so performance in the Shepe. You initial you I don't know, Kwame, did you feel like that about her performance on, on, on Saturday? Oh but if you've seen her perform on a number of occasions <laughs> that is typical of celebrity. And so it was not like you came say ah People say I didn't deserve it. Let me show them my voice, you know. Let no, me give them a stretch. I don't, I don't think, I don't think so. You, you, you I, ain't under pressure the way to I know myself, I won't give myself that work. <laughs> <laughs> so I, won't I give think myself I, was, that work. I was myself. Mm. Um, I was rather tense because there were certain things going on backstage mm. where, uh, you know, the issue of using carpet band. They needed to dress in a particular way to back the circular guys. Mm. And they were coming right after me. So they couldn't wear the dress I gave them oh. to wear to see the background I wanted. So there was all those hitches behind the scenes. So I came rather tense, not too wow. please. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> Emoji. So this conversation, Kwame knows very well about it. So I want to take have your take because it had a lot to do with you, Celestine, and of course Diana. There was there, were, there was some mis I don't know what to call it, a misunderstanding or jabs on social media between Dr. Sonny Bedu and of course uh, Obi <laughs> Nati. Obi is not excited that Sonny didn't wish any of you from the gospel fraternity. Um, congratulate you, but went ahead to congratulate a secular artist in quotes. Of course, he's a secular artist, uh, Kwame Eugene. And I, I, I start to see, are you bothered that Sonny didn't, that Sonny didn't congratulate you? I mean, not at all. I'm not in any way. Mm. I mean, I'm not at all. Um, I don't know the relationship Sonny has with um, Kwame Eugene. I don't know the conversation they had behind the scenes. So it would be unfair to past judgment that he didn't wish me the gospel artist when he wish um, a secular you artist. You don't have a relationship with him? Oh, we are, we are, we are friends. You know, we talk. <laughs> and he's not reached out to you privately as well to say, oh, congratulations. Oh, no, we talk. But, no, uh, I'm just asking if he's congratulating no, you. No, no, he no. Hasn't, he hasn't. He yeah. hasn't. Mm. He hasn't. So, listen, did you see that on social media? Did you see the back and forth? They did it about twice, you know. I, I think I saw something like that. But it, it's, you see, I will comment on this because we are Christians. And we are in one industry and people have expectation from us, you know. And so it is just nice and morally right and socially nice to, you know, throw your weight behind colleagues who are excelling. I mean, as a legend as he is, it is so, so highly expected of him. And this is, I call it Ishushu anymore. It's really with young gospel for four now. And they have people that, as far as you are my click, if it's your birthday, I'll post you. As far as you are my click, if you win, I'll wear it. It's go in is it's so clear. They, they don't even hide it. But let's know that aside who we are, we are, people are watching us. Today, it's Mr. Chimo's birthday. And trust me, those who have not even, those she has not even responded to before, they'll post it. It's in Shushenimu, looking, looking face. It's not nice. So I think, sir, we call the brass on you, and it will be nice, sir, or we should, or every right to choose who to celebrate, but it's appropriately in the sight of 
a God and in the honor of the gospel industry which we are all part of. To celebrate each other is, is nice. Well, uh, mm -hmm. I guess that that answers it. Hmm. Uh, so he's not rich. <laughs> you just give the guy news. <laughs> <laughs> Because some, I, I had an argument that what about if he reached out to you guys privately? That's why I insisted that you have a relationship with him. Did he send you a private message? Because sometimes, you know, people prefer Maybe to it has delayed. Probably to come later. It's a week after. <laughs> you even want in, so a week and a day after. Anyway, let's read some messages that people have sent here before we continue the conversation. And then so this one, I'm sure Kwame would respond. I think he has partially. VGMA looked down on Kim Promise, which was very bad. Kim Promise is one of the best as compared to Kwame. And then uh, that's coming from Ikuya of Uruaji. And uh, Kitty should have been awarded as the artist of the year. He wasn't nominated. He wasn't in that category at all. Please, uh, DJ Famous. And... Um, uh, Naomi, I see your message. And then uh, it says, uh, let's take Sing King Sag out. Looking at KK, that's Kofi Kenata, uh, King Promise and Diana deserve to be the artists of the year. King Promise was also not in that category, mm. so I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just about you are not even following the thing. You're just, you know, blabbing about <laughs> what you think should happen. And uh, Akosia Gloria was hoping to see Celestine Don because she's now here. I'm sure you've seen her. Uh, <laughs> so somebody is asking whether I told you people the colors to wear. It says, hey, Miji, did you advise your guests on the colors to wear? You guys really compliment the colors of the studio. I can't keep my eyes off. Nana Kwabna Brown. We never even spoke, you know, before, uh, you know, this time. And I want to see. I think maybe SAC didn't pump money for votes as they use votes to declare winner. Is that uh, so right? I am saying, say again. Is that right? Well, you should be asking. You have been nominated over the period. <laughs> At least your the first category you won, mm -hmm. I hear, is strictly by the board and academy, which is mm -hmm. the vocalist. Uh, but the song of the year is, is also a part of vote, 40% mm -hmm. votes for the public. You won it. I'm not sure you should be asking that question. That is, that is the kind of win I want to win. A win mm -hmm. where I didn't put money in it. I went to the studio pain and resource to record, for God's sake. I took pain and resources to shoot the video. I took pain and resources to promote it. For God's sake, if I'm being awarded, it has to come from the fact that I truly deserve it. Not because I have money to vote for myself. It is an error that must be corrected. It's a business that is also running. <laughs> <sighs> it, is, it is an error. I took, perhaps that is why my winning award has delayed because I don't believe in it. It doesn't make me feel proud. It doesn't make the win a win for me. It feels like I bought it. Because if it, it is that way, it gives people whose pockets are fat a very good advantage. Because even if a new one would move, say, this person, it's obviously obvious. Say, it's too close any part of the but the other person has money to pump into votes, so we're winning. It, it, it's not fulfilling, honestly, for me, as far as I am concerned. So I am so proud of these awards I won because, trust me, I didn't put one gun. Nah, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, I did. So maybe they put the money in. Yes, mm. that is what it's supposed to be. But not myself, because of the comment the president okay, said. That's so that he didn't pump, pump money, money in, mm. in it, no. It shouldn't be the case. Anyway, uh, but 40% is still not enough. Uh, do you also agree to what she said? About well, to some extent, <laughs> um, you know, um, sometimes, what, well, per, the, per the, um, the table that came out, the academy and the board had 60%, yeah. you mm -hmm. know. So if the academy and the board gives you um, amazing support, no matter how much vote somebody buys, there's no way the person can overtake you. You're because, sure? Yeah, because if the academy votes 100%, for mm. that for is if, if. <laughs> that is if <laughs> yeah i'm saying and if you have not if they vote 100 percent for celestine donko no matter the vote if i buy 100 million votes 40 percent will not supersede what what she she has you understand what so if they gave you 20 percent <laughs> so anything, anything at all like the case of Bernard boy like, at, uh, mm. at yeah Bernard boy was like yeah but I, I heard somebody write something this morning i think edem also say that he's had conversation with other people who said they voted yeah, for other yeah, artists in that category so how yes, did that happen yes well you know the 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 questionnaire they sent us to vote the academy there were there were other categories for us to vote for so Academy members also voted for the African Artists of the Year mm -hmm. and the Instrumentalists of the Year as well. So after we had voted, where did they take our votes to? Well, that's a question for the gods. <laughs> but quickly, I want to take a break. But see, Nana, uh, Mami Abba Inshira uh, says, 
Kylie asked Celestine why she took her award and left Inshiraba behind after performing on stage with him. Was Inshiraba not in the auditorium when she was going for her award? Actually, I was personally disappointed with her for doing that to the young boy. I think it would have motivated the young boy to pursue and work hard to take more awards for himself someday. That's some concern somebody else. Okay, made. thank you for asking. Um, I think nobody in Ghana, by fact, has pushed Gideon down myself. Hmm. To get him to perform within that night, it was a battle of my own. Because kids were not allowed in the COVID you know, gathering like that. So I had to virtually drag him on red carpets to be interviewed because this is, this is a, a guy who has made history for me in Ghana. Hmm. No young chap like that has been on a song this big. Yeah. And for me, I wanted to drag, share the glory equally. I have, I have consistently done that. So if that didn't happen, immediately after the performance, they were actually kicking him out. Oh. Yeah, they wanted him because he cannot be in the He's, he's, he's underage. Oh, so how come Kofi Mole had his child all through the... <laughs> ah, so when I saw them going up, say, with kids, my husband would well, we just look at her face and were like, you know, and they kept saying, say, and you know, you know, and so I fought for my boy. He's my boy. <laughs> and I, I did my best. Okay, so Mamiya mm. Bainshira, I think it's Mesima. Your question has been answered. On that note, we take mm. a break when we are back. Mensima, okay. We take a break when we are back. There's more to be discussed. Remember that we have that conversation with episode via Zoom. So you want to stay. Thank you for staying. This is Simply Showbiz. My name is Miss G. Remember, the Simply Showbiz is nothing personal. It's just show business. And uh, we are waiting to have a conversation with episode and C Flow. We are trying very hard. Uh, they are on Zoom right now, but we are trying very, very hard to have that conversation, you know, on point. So we are getting everything done so that we can have it. But in studio with me, uh, from my extreme left, is a royal. You know, I was once a royal. Once a royal, always a royal. Oh, what, what happened there? I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling Papi Dazi before you came there. I even did Miss Anything in 20, 2003. Hey. Is, that, is that serious? Okay, so what happened? Uh, <laughs> the interview will be after, after the, the show. <laughs> okay, so he's a royal. He, mm -hmm. He's a royal because he belongs to the Royal House Chapel. Apostle General, I salute you wherever you are, sir. And uh, his name is Emoji Music. And uh, he won the male vocalist of the year. Seated next to him is Celestine donko uh, she's a gospel musician as well she won female vocalist of the year and also song gospel song of the year and right by me is a colleague in the industry kwami dazi who works with ctfm and city tv and of course city online is that is that what you call it city news room city room dot com and uh, we've been having conversation about the big day two days actually uh friday saturday the vodafone ghana music awards and we'll go on to complete that conversation as we wait to speak to um tiflo and episode who are joining us via zoom so um okay so i, I hear that i can go on to speak to them so tiflo and episode uh thank you for making time to join us i know tiflo is an early call for you you are in the u.s thank you for waking up to join the conversation Okay, okay, episode, can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Episode, can you hear me? Thank you also for joining us. These guys are having a conversation amongst themselves. <laughs> can you hear me, uh, young men, if you can hear me? Hey, make it another talk something where they will not talk on TV. <laughs> you know, uh, we are closing that port. Uh, we are trying to... Uh, Okay, we are trying to see how best we can connect with them, but you can see that they are with us via Zoom. Uh, we are having a bit of a challenge uh, getting them to hear us here in studio. But let's be back here with some more conversations. So Kwame, um, you actually, um, as we're speaking initially of your concerns that you yeah. had raised and all of that, when you talk about the rapper of the year, did you see it coming that uh, um, our man, Kwesiatha, was going to pick that category? Okay, let me start by saying no disrespect to Kwesiata. He is a fantastic rapper. But again, let's take 2019 into consideration as a year under review. Um, it was a year when Strongman and Medical really proved to the world that they, they know and understand rap music. Okay, it was a year when we had these two rappers going neck to neck, uh, uh, song after song, to show to the world that they are rappers. And so 
if you are given an award to rapper in 2019 not a rap performance but rapper best rapper in 2019 and he tell me that because Kwesi Atta had a sterling performance on a single song he did better and so he's the best rapper in 2019 then you're telling me that all the great rap performances that strongman and medical put into their beef raps didn't count even right after that they released songs and there were rap uh, performances on those songs and uh, clearly if you if you monitored that beef between medical and strongman in 2019 by general consensus strongman took the thing hands down <laughs> okay take ups and downs even the song that was nominated for rapper of the year look at how strongman attacked the subject matter the flow the punchlines and everything now compare that to Chrissy Arthur's song uh something something Kuma, i've forgotten the title I don't, <laughs> um, uh, something something from Nkuma in Kuma Kuma mm. okay now if you listen to the song yes Chrissy Arthur, he did flow he did rap but of course if you are telling me best rapper of the year not best rap performance and the crab questionable but best rapper then it's really so many questions and that is why I'm, I'm even suggesting that even that category should also be renamed to best rap performance and not rapper because a number could be just one song then the performance on that song should not make you the rapper of the year what mm -hmm. if somebody released um, let's say nine high life songs and then releases one rap song just be just because he does so well on that r one rap song you say he's the best rapper of the year. Meanwhile, somebody also released, let's say, five rap songs. And because we're not enthused by just one of his songs nominated, you give the award to the other person who released nine high life songs by just one rap song. So there are so many things that should change in the VGMAs. Best rap performance. So that it doesn't even matter if the song was yours. If MOG releases a song, and let's say Sarkodie does rap on it, and we feel that Sarkodie's performance on that song as, as a rapper is good, he gets nominated into that category. But if you want to make it best rapper, then you should not consider just one song. It should be other rap songs, about at least three songs. Okay, so I, I, I was surprised. That was another surprise I had on the night. The artist of the year, the rapper of the year, and then I had confusion as in understanding how Kitty won album, album of, the year. of the year. We thought that Ochami Kwame's album was... I thought that it should have gone to either Ochami Kwame or Sarkodie because the category definition says that award goes to the album that has either best quality production mm. or highest number of hit songs. Okay? So if it's highest number of hit songs, Sarkodie, obviously... If it is production as in an anthology of songs, album is not just collection of songs as in an album should speak to something. It should be directed to something. And that is what the Made in Ghana album is all about. Mm. You, you get me? And mm. so I was confused. And so the, uh, the board should be clear on this one. They should come out to tell us when they talk about either or either quality production or number of um, hit songs what uh, do they mean at what point does the board decide to award album of the year with quality production and at what point do they decide to award album of the year by just hit so number of hit songs or they decide okay this year the young fama near nene mono yeah hits baby or oh this year the uh, let's give it to whose songs had the best production so they should be clear on that and clear away the ambiguity. If not, the confusion still stays in our minds. And I don't, I don't know what parameter was used to give Kiddy. I'm not saying Kiddy didn't work. But because I'm confused by the category definition, maybe what they should do is tell us that, OK, let's take either quality production or number of highest number of hit songs, or maybe merge the two. Hmm. Quality production and highest number of hit songs so that your hit songs should also carry some quality production.
Okay, um, so that's the, I, I don't know what you saw, but I think based on Eno's performance, I saw a post from you, beginning up as yeah. a lyricist and all of that. Mm -hmm. Before you came out, I was telling Emoji that sometimes the gospel folks, it's difficult for you to want to penetrate the secular issues mm -hmm. and talk about them. Mm -hmm. What did you really feel when you saw Eno on stage that propelled you as a songwriter like you posted to go and big it up on social media? Um, that was my first time experiencing her perform. And I really... Uh, the performance caught my attention. I would usually like, okay, be on my phone when, usually when a secular person, because for me, they are all, you know, they sound the same to me. Chai. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ford headline. <laughs> <laughs> really? In part, it is, yeah. <laughs> you know, I am most of the time, I say gospel for one way, but trust me, so I will turn out with her secular show throughout that. On most stage demeanor, on more shout, chants, yeah, the same thing. Wow. So I know you me, know. So it 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 it's not it, it doesn't cut my attention from beginning to end. But with Eno, on a rap that night, the lyrics I'm talking from songwriter's point of view, the lyrics content was rich, man. She's real. She's like a real. She's natural. And anybody who is good at writing knows what I'm saying. So. I was like, wow. And for me, I've not really seen any rapper that dope like female in Ghana. So I was like, this is a real, a real she's a big deal. Hmm. Yeah. Really a big deal. Mm -hmm. And, and then let's say the gospel artists deserve it. This is from um, Marita Ruslina. And then she says, thanks for the answer, Celestine, and congratulations for winning such a fantastic award. Mm -hmm. uh, you really deserve them. Go higher. VJM has not been fair to T Flo for the best <laughs> rapper after being nominated in three uh, for three consecutive years. He should have won the best rapper this year. Did you hear Celestine says she's been nominated five years in a row? Is it in a row? Back to back or five times? No, my first uh, submission was, in ten, was 10 years ago. Ago. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, okay. But since that time, I, anytime I release, unless I have not released, anytime I release under the current calendar year, I, I am nominated. Okay, so that's uh, Charles Kwekunash. And then um, Celestine should come home. Uh, that's what I'm being told to tell you, at Volta least for region, just I'm once. Sure. The Votarians are calling mm. you. <laughs> it's time VGMA recognizes Eno as a female rapper and honor her with an award. Um, as for the rapper of the year, Kwesiata deserves it. Uh, coming from, uh, you're watching from Liberia, P and Sa. Thank you. And MOG has a good voice. King K says so. And uh, Tiflo observe a rapper of the year so there are lots of messages uh, unfortunately uh, Kwame Daz is making a lot of valuable sense and this is from uh, Kofi Ble BKB and Kweku Bwatin Semizji I've listened to Kwame Francis Francis Doku and many others and I think majority of we Ghanaians don't care about the technicalities of music and its performance and so those are some messages coming through quickly let's take your final words unfortunately we are not able to connect to uh, mm -hmm. Tiflo and uh, um, episode but I have a conversation later on radio at 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Be sure to join us because I'll have these guys speak to us. So episode will be speaking to us on 3FM 92.7 and we'll connect with T-Flo who is all the way in the United States on 3FM 93.7 from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Um, so this award that you've got is it pressure to release more songs, to do more hallelujah? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll be myself. Mm. I mean, there, there's, there's one thing that I saw the night that I really want to comment about. Mm. Um, that has to do with um, some of the artists. Um, you know, you take, you take the pain to go to Chatterhouse, pick up the form, fill it, and then submit it with the songs you want to be nominated. Go through the screening and you're nominated. You make noise about it. Um, unfortunately, we didn't have a nomination uh, jam. Mm -hmm. And then on the D-Day, the names are mentioned, so, so, and so. Yes, and then um, your name is mentioned, yeah. and you don't show up on the stage to pick it up mm. because you're backstage preparing to come and sing. Coming from a musician, this is I great. mean, it's bad. Mm. Mm. For me, it's, it's really bad. Uh, 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 and your guys will come on stage. Um, yeah, thank you. Unfortunately, he's not here, so we take this on his behalf and blah, blah, blah. blah. It's so disrespectful. I mean, you look at our what um, programs are brought, and all the big names are seated. When they mention their name, they get up in their suits, in their dress, whatever. They go and say, thank you guys for this award. Um, shout outs to so so and so. They go backstage. And when it's time for, for them to perform, they you go perform. change. Because there's, there, are some, there are people over there, when it's getting to your time, they walk to your table. And prompt you. And prompt you that it's time for you to come, and, come on stage. You know, and somebody will be sitting on moto, waiting that uh, he'll, he'll come on stage. And somebody wearing construction wear. 
<laughs> wow. You understand? I mean, no disrespect to them, but I think um, we need to put value on our own VGMs. This is for us. Mm. You understand? God forbid, if the VGMs fails and it's cancelled and a year comes where they don't do it, we'll be the same people that will bash them. Mm. So if these guys are doing their best to put out an awesome event, even with this COVID pandemic thing, let us show them some respect. And listen, I was, this is my first time. I was surprised. They wrote to me, they sent me an email, yeah. detailed on what I have to do, mm -hmm. what time I should get there. They, I should park my car here. A car will take me to the place, wash my hands, see table number, everything. Every so I believe every artist had all these issues. Yeah. Give them the respect. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. all come they there. When they mention your name, you go upstage, you take that because the fans at home want to see you hold that award. And that, that's why they voted for you in the mm, first place. True. You that's understand? True. So show them some respect and don't disrespect the award by standing behind the stage waiting to perform. Mm. So let's, let's have your final mm. words before we go. Okay, so uh, more greater things to come. Uh, I need you to just expect favor following you everywhere. Amen. That's my next something great coming up. Follow me on social media, Celestine Duncan Music on Instagram. Celestine Donko Music on Facebook, Gospel Soldier on Twitter, Indeed. and there is a lot <laughs> more. There's a lot more, definitely. <laughs> Kwame cannot have the last one. We started long ago, so uh, thank you very much, Kwame Dazi, who works with CTFM, CTTV, and of course, CityNewsRoom.com, and also to Celestine Donko, who is a gospel artist, gospel song of the year winner, and female vocalist of the year winner, and also to the royal, MOG Music, who is the male vocalist of the year, for joining us on Simply Show my name is Miji. Thanks to the entire production team. We are back again next week with another edition. But join me on radio is 92.7 at 1 p.m. Have a great day.